our apprentice. So, 23rd of April. Is it Saint, Saint George's Day today? Sure it is. I don't know. Anyway, this is a, this rascal's getting a proper day out today. The first proper use of it. That's the supercharger for the MX batteries. And we have a slab to take up, so I'm gonna, I'm supposed to be leaving Arch here. But um, I'm gonna stay long enough to get the, the, I can get on the breaker. As you can see, here's the two MX tools together. So you got the, the saw and the breaker. Yeah, uh, brings to me. I was um, I was surprisingly volunteered yesterday. Like, I'm, 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 before anyone says I'm not complaining, it's just the fact that uh, I was there working away, and all of a sudden, oh, if you need someone, Alex will come on his own. I was like, what? It's, it's not the coming in. It, was, it wasn't the coming in part. It was the part where you just said out of the blue on my own. I thought, where are you going to be? <laughs> I'm having a rest. I've been busy while you've been in. Um Galavanting. Yes. Yeah, that are um, Look at the state when you use water suppression. Poor thing. But yeah, there you go. We've got our trolley. We asked for asked me walk and he delivered. So the tro it's, it's, it's straps on the trolley, and the the chisels go in the trolley, so we can't bring the breaker and forget the chisels. And doesn't this uh, for the battery? Yeah. Something. Like Other that. way. Spin it round. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Ah, there you go. You can also fit the charger in there. I think the charger sits in there and then you strap it onto there, but not the supercharger, which is what we're using today. I, the, the, the slab isn't that big, so I don't think I'll need the supercharger, but it's there anyway. So I can't wait to use it. So Alex is going to be out, basically it's a slab prep, so I can't do it, but Alex can. And I'm going to just be Slab prep stuff, bringing stone around or breaking stuff, whatever I'm told to Tidying up, barring stuff, so I'm, I'm going to stay until break time. Have, have a, a break with Alex so we can have it in the van and then I'm off. I've got a couple of jobs to look at and price. I told Nia this and she said, <laughs> we've got to be a big boy, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> anyway, let's go around and get to making a noise. The best. Oh, there was a bit of a noise already because one of the neighbours is sick of the uh, contractors parking outside her house, so she just had a ding dong with a fella who parked on that corner, around that corner, in the way. So it's a good job we moved our van, isn't it? Yeah, we were just about to get both barrels, but we moved quick. Parking isn't the best round here. It's a lovely street, but you've got a fancy footpath in the grass verges, but a narrow, narrow road. So um, I'll have to get the mirrors in for when the bin man comes. Right, let's get around there. We're not brave enough. We're not brave enough. We should throw off our ties. Oh, oh just fits. I'm not making this uh, drive video look good, am I? <laughs> there we go. So I can really either fix that in post or it'll just make me look bad. On the grass. Are you selling me off again? Yeah. Keeping you working, get you some money. I think you just don't want me in the house. Right, we should put this thing. So there you go. That was yesterday's. Uh, how can I put it? Difficult day. Bits of trench coat, bits of pipes everywhere. That goes under there. There's one goes under there. There's one goes under there. You've got the lead pipe. And then right where the pipe goes through in the gully, that's where we had the, the kick out in the wall, which just um, just made it so much more complicated. 
would have been ideal just to run straight through, give them more room, but they want more room here. They're not bothered about there. As long as the wheelie bin goes through, that's all that matters. So this slab has been slabbed on top of another slab. So that's what this has been brought in for. So we're going to get cracking in a minute. And make a mess. We've got three layers of concrete here. Look there, got the top one, the thinner one, then the bottom one. I think the bottom one's gonna put, up, put the biggest fight. But then um, yeah, it's coming out nice. It's um it just delaminates, so it's 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 stuck. But once you get vibrated enough, it just delaminates and goes dead loose, it's popping out pretty easy. So you're gonna be leaving me sooner than expected. It. Hey, you're gonna be leaving me sooner than expected. Maybe yeah. No, I'll, I'll still wait around till break time so you can sit in the van for your break. Yeah, yeah, coming on nice. That thing's a beast. And the amount of hate it gets in the comments is just ridiculous. People are saying how crap it is when they've never seen it, never touched it, never tried it. My favourite comment, and I said this in the last time we talked about this, my favourite comment was that someone said, we used another breaker and then put this one in shot so it looks like we used it. Oh yeah. And my, one of my favourites was, you don't need that, you just need a big sledgehammer. On him, and I remember it was 100, 180 mil thick concrete, and it's good concrete. I remember it was um, the Tommy's extension we did, yeah. Yeah. My uh, my source of my newfound favourite food. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I say, the haters are going to hate, but you can't knock it. It's brilliant, and and they've just upped the game by bringing the supercharger in now. So the batteries, the, the batteries aren't going to be an issue at all because we've got the supercharger. These are 6 amp hours, they do a 12 amp hour now, which I think is, um, is like the the, uh, the forge battery they do for the M18, so it's smaller, it's, it's a 12 amp hour but it's, it's, I think it's about the same size as the 6, but um, yeah, I love, it. I love getting a chance to use this, you don't get to use it often enough, love it. Right, looking good over there. Those three lads have been busy. Alex has been here around there. Um, um, all the cracks been umped out. The, uh, all the brickwork's down ready. That's the floor we're patching up to. So um, that's that. Whereas I've been stuck in this hole here. The breaking's finally done. Well, that was done before dinner. Now we've been doing exposing pipes. So we're digging this out as far as we can get it. Band seal 
up to a T for the toilet and then renew everything back up to the and then given the customer the option to get rid of get plastic back up to the plastic up there which I think would be a good idea there's an inspection on there as well which is handy and then there was a shower coming in from that side but they decided to take it the other way into that that pipe there it's all combined so it's all ended up in the same place which is that man all there so yeah um, this has leaked since probably since it, it was built so when we took the concrete slab up the, co the collar came off with it and it was, that black soil is based because it's, it's enriched with nutrients from the it doesn't smell as bad as you think it was to be honest but um, it, it does smell but not as bad I thought it would be a lot worse so we're, like I say we're just exposing all this for tomorrow and then I'm pretty sure I won't be here tomorrow because I've been on my knees most of the day using that breaker so I'm fit for nothing I won't be able to walk later I'll come in if I can but I doubt it Come in if you can. Hey. Come in if you can. You don't have to abandon me today. I still have to bring you in. I still have to get up and bring you in. Yeah. But at least he's earning still anyway. Still put your uniform on. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Come with good on. stuff. Yeah. Come in pyjamas so I don't have to work. But these little spades are great. Little grubbing out right down there. But yeah, it's coming together nicely. All the umping's done. So um like I say, we'll get the rest of this exposed ready for tomorrow and then um, it's like a morning job this. You don't want to be doing this, starting a train job in the afternoon because you never know how it's going to go. And shit, train jobs generally go Thank you. So at least if it's in the morning we've got all day to go at it and then the next customer will probably go out for a coffee or something while we get this done because that's the only soil pipe. So let's get this exposed and then... And then... And that, and that, and that. Hear our breaker in the background. Probably can't hear me. There you go. That's ready for um, settling now. Cut down there, bring it up in plastic, tee out to the all plastic back in here. That's that was hard. On the knees again, the little dingy spades. So there's the house footing and there's the, the extension footing and there's the lead pipe. So it's all clear now. That's going to be a lot easier, and it just needs um, that pipe. Doesn't like it lines up with that pipe. I don't think it does. I think it's dropped, and it's just pouring out the bottom. Probably. We'll find out later, won't we? Mhm. Mm yeah, look at it. The collar doesn't line up. The upside down, so you can see. Look, the top of the pipe doesn't line up. So I'm guessing the bottom is lower than the outlet. So a nice big blockage point there. And you can see all the soil black from it leaking for years and years. It's all wet. So all that's gonna rectify that. Mm. Tide boy there. We, we both are? Yeah. I'm just knackered in general. All yeah. done. All done. Good morning. It is just me today. Uh, Dad is uh, taking a day off today, which he definitely needs, especially after yesterday being stuck in that little room. But um, yeah, today is the actual slab prep day. Um, yeah, so obviously you saw all the stuff we got done yesterday. That's all still there. That's a bit more flooded because I think that was that that they've not been put together. They've just been sat sat together, so everything's dropped. So I could do with a bit of a bailing out of being. Busy getting this cleared up. Got these coarser bricks taken down and got all the loose crap moved. So now we're ready for the actual filling up. We're just gonna get a little ramp set up now and see how we go. There's four, there's about four ton outside as there is. He's ordered five more ton because if you know what our jobs have been like, we're always short on hardcore. We'll see how roughly nine ton gets us.
Right, it is quarter past ten, and there's our progress so far. So we've made a bit of a dint, and what's good is that um, this is going quite a long way. Obviously, we're still waiting on plumbing with all the pipes and all that. That way we can get that part finished, but this game is quite far so far. Yeah, look at that. This, this is this is roughly the hardcore level. These uh, these bricks. So yeah, it's actually not, it's not going not doing too bad. I think it's a bit low there, obviously, but we'll get that sorted. But yeah, it's it's going along. We might not need as much as we thought. Still going more, obviously, but not I'll probably set you up somewhere else and just get a bit more footage. Right, a little update for you. Full steam ahead now, so they're getting started with the pipe now. And we've got our official datum for this now, which is that brick over there. So obviously I'm working this way with the laser and getting in barrow by barrow. So obviously while I'm doing that, like I say, they're gonna get them pipes sorted out. And yeah, cracking on. So I will stick you on time lapse somewhere now so you can get the whole, the whole job, and uh, see you from then. There you go. In and backfilled. So that's the shower. Cut in here and connect it all. All fiddle bank connected up. And there's that. So, yeah, making progress. It's always uh, satisfying when the drainage is done. Because obviously now, now that part's done, we can clear up this part back, fill what we need and get what we need done here. Well, but that should, that should be plenty to get us finished now. We'll see how it goes, but at least now we can get it all backfilled. So uh, that's my job now, and I will uh, see you on the other side. That's how it looks. And I've just took a video on my phone then, I'll send that to Dad for use. But flow works perfectly, we've had the customer test out with the toilet flush. It flushes fine, goes goes away nicely, and no leaks since since it was first installed. So there you go. Oh there you go, in fact you can hear it now. Perfectly timed. 
There you go, no leaks. Now it's the big push for the stone. And just to clarify as well, that there, the underground pipe part, that's just temporary. Got a bloody winds everywhere. That part's just temporary because once the slab goes in, they'll make the proper connections and put the overground pipes in. This is just to get it so the customer can use the toilet again and make sure that all the the doohickeys and doo-wads work. But yeah, now, like I said, get that moved. Oh yeah. And now I will bust bust my ass getting this move now. What time is it? Call me. Call it off too, so. About two hours to really make a dent. There you go, quarter past four, and that's it. Like I said, I'll elaborate again. This is temporary until the slab goes in and everything can get done properly then. This is just so they can use the uh, toilet. But there you go. That's a lot of, uh, I'd say about seven, seven, eight tons got in there. And I can bloody feel it. There you go. Got some pipes in there as well for the services. And this pipe's been done. That pipe's been done. It was a long day, but we got it done. Obviously, tomorrow I'm going to bring the wacker with me. So we can get all this wackered and then we can see if we need any more stone putting on. Then we get the sand blind in. Then go the usual song and dance of your slab prep. Here's how much that's left over. Probably about a good, good ton in a bit. So this is how Dad feels when I'm not with him. <laughs> There's a lot, of, a lot of stone to move, but that's today, and then the next day, final day of slab prepping. There we go. We'll catch you for then tomorrow. Good start. Lashing down. Apparently it's going to be on and off all day today, so happy days. But um, as you can hear, brought the whack has already made a start. But like I said yesterday, doing this is going. We're going to see what is needed or what's not needed and then we can get started with the sand blinding or adding more stone if need be so I will stick your time on so I'll leave this rotation and I will uh, get back to you so you can see there's a few dips here and there now we know where we want to fill up to I think th this part here and that part, they're more or less bang on level because this part I was very, I was meticulous with this part until we were run until we had to start rushing. <laughs> but um, but yeah, at least now we've got a rough idea as well. We can determine where exactly we need to put more or take some away because obviously I think this part, this part's not been wackered yet, but this part might need maybe a little bit taken off. Maybe, we'll see. But yeah, I've gone around and filled around the pipes a little bit and give it a little stomp down because obviously it's going to be a bit difficult to get the um, get the block around there. And then obviously once we've uh, got that, we can sand blind it and get the visqueen on and then get all that insulation in. Tell you what, looking at that, I hope there's going to be enough. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. But yeah, we will uh, catch you in a bit when there's something something to cover. Right, it was uh, raining quite a lot then, but in the meantime, we've uh, got most of the sand in. So we're just going to see where where this is at. Obviously, I think this part still needs a bit of a whacker in, but there you go. I'll uh, get you on time lapse now as well because um, the rain's died off, so the camera can survive. So uh, I'll see you on there.
Right. With the copyright. So, the skip's being moved now, and I don't know if you saw that, but we got our money's worth out of that skip. <laughs> but that one's going now, getting a fresh one, which is always nice. And we're doing. What we're doing now is the finalisation of the sunblind, but you can see Danny's made to start there, that part's level. Now, Dave's bringing the barrows in and I'm doing the levelling, so I'm making sure all the sunblind's nice and level so we don't get any rocking in the insulation. Uh, yeah, progress. <laughs> I say it's always, it's always good when the insulation starts going in. That's how you know where uh, you're getting somewhere. But yeah. That's where we're at so far. We will catch you in a bit. I'll keep time lapsing while we keep sorting this out. But, um. Hi. This is a big one. <laughs> yeah, see you on time lapse. There we have it. That's the installation done. Now, that's it for today because obviously, with the weather being the way it is, they're gonna wait till tomorrow to do the last layer of visqueen because if it rains, then that is a lot of water to try and drain out. <laughs> so that's what they're gonna do. I'm having the, that day off because they don't really need me here just for this concreting. You've seen it with me and dad concrete, usually it's just him. But there we go. So when I Nick when when you next see us, this will be in. So in advance, nice job, Dave and Danny. But yeah, we will uh, give you a little glance over of the slab once we get back here on Monday. But yeah, so that is it for I guess you could say it's the end of this video. Because now we'll be on the now we'll be doing the block work when we get back New, with the fancy uh, fancy insulation. Yeah, so thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell so you always know when you know you always get notified when we upload. There we go. Massive help, and we appreciate the support. Any additional support you want to give, there's the super thanks under the video or Dad's PayPal in the description. Not necessary by any means, but it's a massive help, and we really appreciate all the support you guys give. This has been Brickling with Alex. <laughs> with uh, one big ass slab prepped and we will catch you in the in the next one